Hello everyone and welcome to week 12 of my Norway vlogs. We're here! We're at the zoo! Yeah. We're a bit confused because there's nobody here. There's no way to get tickets. It's open. It's open, but... But there's nobody there. So like, can we just go in? Did we have to uh, buy tickets online? We could. So this is what we saw as soon as we got in. There were other guests there, but it was mainly just one big construction site and everything was closed from shops to restaurants to basically everything. All right, so I had to walk up that last hill because I couldn't. And now we're here and we have to go down. Um, would not recommend in a wheelchair, not even with a stroller. We're at the walls right now. We're at the walls again. This nice lady came and told us where they were. It was just living her best photographer's life. So after hanging around the wolves for a while, we decided to explore the zoo a bit further and we saw a bunch of animals which are native to this area or other places in Norway, which was really interesting. And we also saw some other animals like giraffes and turtles because they even had this really nice inside area where they had all of their monkeys and other animals which needed to stay warm. Unfortunately, the inside areas, as you can see here, were not all accessible, uh, so I couldn't really see all of the animals, but Jill took some amazing pictures, so I'm not mad about that. And we ended our day by going to the petting zoo area, where they had different types of animals like pigs, horses, and even some guinea pigs, which was really cute. So the next day we didn't really do much but we did go on a little walk and we saw some ducks. We also tried to plan our route to go to Jill, which is a small town just above Kristiansand. And Jill really wanted to go there, naturally. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to join her, but we did take a look at the map and they even had some accessible routes on there. It's not quite up to date, so I wouldn't rely on it too much, but it's nice that they tried. And while Jill was at Jill, I was in class. So today we're in Christiansand in the city centre and um, we went to Burger King when we were in Oslo and we're here now and i don't know what it is with burger king but they have stairs everywhere so i need to wait outside again um in oslo i did get something to eat but right now i just refuse to spend my money on something that's not accessible at all so jill's inside eating her lunch and i'm outside just people watching so that's fun um after that we're probably just gonna continue shopping. We bought a bunch of stuff. Um, I couldn't film everything because I was just busy looking at all the cute things and stuff. But I'll give you a little haul once we get back. Um, we found this really cute shop and they had like children's chopsticks there, which I bought as a souvenir for a family friend. He is 67 i believe and he always eats sushi with my parents but you can't use a chopstick so i bought some kids chopsticks for him like special ones so it's really nice i also bought some hair clips and i bought a, a mini spoon which is really nice i really like small spoons and this one's made out of plastic and it's really cute um so that will be my yogurt and ice cream spoon from now on i probably should have bought more but i can go back there if i want to um i'll probably go back there when lucin gets here um because Jill is leaving on Sunday and then on Tuesday Lucien's coming over from Berka. So I 
we got a little spoon. It's really oh, cute. Spoon. It's really cute. And then these are the baby chopsticks. <laughs> I thought they were cute as well. Um, and helpful. And then I got these clips. They're really cute. I like them. I look like? A little child. Why? Why with those clips? That's cute. What you doing? So that night to try to find a sensor which sets off the light because it is very sensitive and I kept waking her up whenever I left the room. So we didn't end up finding it. Still haven't found it and it's still annoying. So after staying here for a while, it was time for Jill to pack up her stuff and go home. And unfortunately for her, we had a bit too much fun shopping. So she was struggling to fit everything into a suitcase. So this is just her trying to get it to close. And finally, we managed to get it closed after a lot of stress because the flight was cancelled as well. But she managed to do it. So naturally the night that Jill left, it started snowing again and honestly I'm over the snow, <laughs> I'm looking forward to summer. Um, so this was the end of week 12 and I'll see you guys in week 13 and 14.